If you are a 1990s kid or older, you must have read in your textbooks that there are nine planets in our solar system, the ninth being Pluto. But this changed in 2006 and the title of being called a planet was taken away from Pluto. Why did this happen? Let's find out. Pluto was once considered to be the ninth planet in our solar system. But in 2006, it was reclassified as a dwarf planet. This decision was made by the International Astronomical Union, the organization responsible for naming and classifying celestial objects. The decision was controversial, and it has been the subject of much debate ever since. The Discovery of Pluto Pluto was discovered in 1930 by American astronomer Clyde Tombaugh. At the time, it was believed to be the ninth planet in our solar system, joining the ranks of Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Pluto was named after the Roman god of the underworld, and it quickly became a popular subject of scientific research and public interest. However, as time passed, scientists began to question whether Pluto truly deserved to be called a planet. One of the main reasons for this was its size. Pluto is much smaller than the other planets in our solar system. In fact, it is smaller than many moons, including our own moon. This led some astronomers to argue that Pluto was not a real planet, but rather a minor planet or planetesimal a small, icy object that had not fully formed into a planet. The Discovery of Other Dwarf Planets In the 1990s, astronomers began to discover other small, icy objects in the outer solar system that were similar in size and composition to Pluto. One of these objects was called Eris, and it was discovered in 2005. Eris was found to be larger than Pluto, and this sparked a debate about whether or not Pluto should be considered a planet. What is a planet? The most recent definition of a planet was adopted by the International Astronomical Union in 2006. It says a planet must do three things. It must orbit a star. In our case, Sun is the star. It must be big enough to have enough gravity to force it into a spherical shape. It must be big enough that its gravity cleared away any other objects of a similar size near its orbit around the Sun. According to this definition, Pluto fulfills the first two conditions, but not the third one. Pluto has not cleared away other objects of similar size near its orbit around the Sun. I.A. you decided to create a new category of celestial objects called dwarf planets. According to the new definition, a dwarf planet is an object that orbits the Sun, is spherical in shape, but has not cleared its orbit of other debris. This means that a dwarf planet is not large enough to exert its gravitational pull and clear the area around it of other objects. Why Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet Under the new definition of a planet, Pluto no longer qualified as a planet, the reason being Pluto has not cleared its orbit of other debris, making Pluto being reclassified as a dwarf planet. In fact, Pluto is part of a group of small, icy objects called the Kuiper Belt, which orbit the Sun beyond Neptune. The Kuiper Belt is home to many other dwarf planets, such as Eris, Haumea, and Makemake. Some astronomers were unhappy with this decision and argued that Pluto should still be considered a planet. They argued that the new definition was flawed and that it did not take into account the unique characteristics of Pluto. They pointed out that Pluto has its own set of moons and that it has a unique atmosphere, which sets it apart from other objects in the Kuiper Belt. The decision to reclassify Pluto as a dwarf planet was controversial, and it has been the subject of much debate among astronomers and the general public. Let's first see the arguments for Pluto's classification as a planet. Pluto was discovered before the discovery of other dwarf planets, and it was widely considered to be a planet for many years. Pluto has its own set of moons, which is a characteristic of planets in our solar system. Pluto has a unique atmosphere, which sets it apart from other objects in the Kuiper belt. Many people grew up learning that Pluto was a planet, and they feel a sense of nostalgia and attachment to the idea. Now let's find out the arguments against Pluto's classification as a planet. Pluto is much smaller than the other planets in our solar system. It is even smaller than some moons, such as our own moon. Pluto's orbit is very different from the other planets. It is much more elliptical, and it is tilted at an angle compared to the plane of the other planets' orbits. Pluto is part of a group of small, icy objects called the Kuiper Belt. Many of these objects are similar in size and composition to Pluto. The new definition of a planet, which was created in 2006, is more specific and scientific than the previous definition. It takes into account the object's size, shape, and orbit, as well as its relationship to other objects in the solar system. Some astronomers have proposed a compromise solution, in which Pluto would be considered a planet. 
but it would also be classified as a member of a new category of objects called Plutoids. Plutoids would be defined as objects that orbit the Sun beyond Neptune, are spherical in shape, and have not cleared their orbits of other debris. This compromise would allow Pluto to be considered a planet while still recognizing its unique characteristics and relationship to other objects in the solar system. The decision to reclassify Pluto as a dwarf planet was a controversial one, and it has sparked debate among astronomers and the public for many years. While some argue that Pluto should still be considered a planet, the new definition of a planet created by the IAU is more specific and scientific than the previous definition. It takes into account an object's size, shape, and orbit, as well as its relationship to other objects in the solar system. While the decision may be disappointing for those who grew up learning that Pluto was a planet, it reflects our evolving understanding of the solar system and the importance of scientific accuracy and classification. I hope you guys now know why Pluto is no longer a planet. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing to my channel. This will help me a lot. I'll be posting more amazing stuff on my channel. See you soon.